Oh yeah. Spring. Oh yeah. You know, uh, it's, it's well, what we did. I, it, should, it should bring a lot to to, to guy high school. Um, before the season started, yeah. you talked about wanting to get better at all the little things, the footwork, yeah. getting the ball yeah. out quicker, holding the ball in different ways. Yes. What do you What do you feel is sort of the next step in your development? What are you going to be working on this offseason? Uh, mostly, you know, just making that passing game the number one thing we can do. You know, uh, it, we, we showed more than what we can do with that passing game today. And, you know, uh, I think Coach Walsh and Coach Vallejo feels confident in it. And so we're just going to, you know, get better on that too. Decision-making is one of the key things, you know, playing quarterback. Yeah. Just talk about how that has progressed and all to this point to get to get the win today. Uh, it, you know, it's progressing to become a better quarterback. It, it really helped out today. You know, uh, I know after practice I'm always working on my feet work, you know, throwing extra balls to receivers, and it really showed today and it, it you know, worked out today. Offensive linemen, you know, they yeah. do that job up front oh, yeah. in order for you to get things done behind them. Yeah. Continue, you know, expound on that. Mm -hmm. uh, the offensive line is great. I mean, uh, we had probably the smartest offensive line, too. If, if you've seen their GPAs, they're, they're pretty <laughs> smart. And so, uh, you know, Coach Walsh, he can, one, one practice we can go out there and do, do one scheme, and then the next day Coach Walsh might just be like, forget it, we're going to do this. And, and they'll go out there and, perform to 100% and get it done. So, you know, what they do is, is unbelievable. The holes they make for me and DJ is, is great. Try next up for you is junior days. Are you excited to kind of lead that yeah. class and, and start bringing more people into Texas? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah, uh, I'm always doing that right now, trying to get everyone who, you know, who can ball, try to get them to Texas. <laughs> when do you get back to work, Gerard? How do you balance out relaxing and enjoying this and then getting – Back to work and get ready for another one. Yep, yeah, uh, I'm you know over this break, I'm gonna really relax and you know probably doing track season. I'm gonna hit it up again, you know, for all the you know the camp and maybe Elite Eleven and you know just get back in that routine. Talk about you especially in, in track. What do you do well? Uh, I do well in four by four. Uh, that's that's pretty much what I can do. Uh, not that I I thought I could do the hundred, but nah, it wasn't wasn't I was thinking. So it, I could, I'm pretty good in four hundred. Does it, how much does it help you out as far as keeping you in shape and keeping you? Uh, it, it helps me out a lot. I know uh, track track gets me in shape. You know, after eating and you know sitting around for a little bit and you know working out, but not as much. Track really keeps me in shape and uh, keeps me going. Try to get another season. You're just hungry to do it again. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Uh, you know the juniors that's sitting in there that didn't get to go out. You know they whispering, uh, "Can you get us one?" You know so. <laughs> It's, it's it's a great thing, and we're gonna we're gonna try to get it next year too. Talk about being able to get a senior something to go out on. Uh, you know, next year, you know, hopefully get that ring, go out and get that ring, and just you know having a, another day like this. What's your weight at now? I am one ninety. One ninety. Yes. Right. The first day of training camp during the fall. Uh -huh. What went through everybody's mind as far as the first day? You know, what did you all just talk about, and then? prepare for the season? You know, we uh we opened up pretty strong. You know, we scrimmaged the Lido and then went to Cedar Hill and then Colleyville. You know, Cody Thomas, he was a great player. And even Cedar Hill with LaQuiviante and their quarterback. It, I mean, it was – when we opened up, we, we knew what we had in front of us that knew that was going to help us play to the end like what we did today. And, you know, losing those games, I think, really, really helped us. You know, uh, and, and especially when – Fall practice, it was just, you know, keep our heads straight and, you know, try to get the championship like we did today. Working through district, how much was that a grind? Uh, oh, it was a big grind. You know, uh, you know, we we probably did have a pretty soft di uh, district, but, you know, it's it, it's it's all what well, we got to – we got to just make everything 100% good and, and and just critique everything. And then for the playoffs, we just have to show it. One last question. As a junior, now you – you know, the season's over with, you're yeah. fixing to get in the track. Yeah. What's on your mind and all fucking ac uh, academic-wise? Oh, oh man, my mom, she <laughs> she keeps me on that. I, I got to make straight A's and B's. and So it's uh, that's that's something that, that's always going to be in the front, you know, uh, and just have, have good grades. All right, introduce yourself for folks that still don't know who you are and um, we'll close out. Um, Gerard Hurd, quarterback at Dengar, uh verbal commit to UT. All right, this is Jerry Lee Wooley Jr. with the CSR.